back here because the um, camera will move over. So at around frame 90, we'll set on the key and at frame 100, let's bring this way up in Y and in the curve editor, hit F and change the Bezier. See how that looks. That looks nice. So we have some unwanted keyframes here. So I'll just remove them from the dope sheet. So starts off screen, comes in and then flies off into oblivion. So let's Oops, preview this. Okay, it looks good. And when that CG Touch logo flies off, we want the AE Touch logo to come in. So we can just uh, Alt C to copy that card, plug the camera in, and hook up the AE Touch logo. And if we click on this one, card two we can go to the dope sheet and move all these keyframes along so that as CG Tuts is going off, A Tuts comes in and we won't be able to see both of these unless we merge A over B. So now we can see both and they overlap so I want to move um, A Tuts over in the dope sheet so that they don't actually overlap each other. Perfect. And I'll just give a touch a little bit more time. Cool. And let's just preview the uh, the change. A touch goes too far, I think. So the way we can move it on uh, both of these keyframes as opposed to changing it on both keyframes uh, manually is in the curve editor. We can just uh, select X, hit F to frame it and um, actually delete all those keyframes because it doesn't move in X again and just m move that down. And then just make sure we get the nice bezier. And just make sure there's no uh, post movement because sometimes if you see if we do that it will start drifting in X we want it to be completely stable on X after the uh, introduction so let's preview this that's nice okay so now that we've got that we need to add some motion blur to these so the way we can do that is if we uh, just add in a motion blur 2D and uh, plug the 2D transform into the card. That's the transform and let's see, we have the outputting um, the UV is going to the motion channel and then if we add a vector blur we can blur all channels or just the RGBA using the motion and it starts crazy so let's add a few zeros to this so it needs to be a bit more blurry than that when it's coming in that's probably a bit too much so let's go zero 05 and let's grow the bounding box so that it doesn't get cut off that looks pretty good I think we could have a little bit more. It's moving very quickly. Let's bump that up to seven. That looks good. So we can just copy these and paste them in here. Just make sure the 2D transform goes to the card and B hooks up to the vector blur. So now all of the um, 
or both our 2D cards are um, animating in and have motion blur, so that's good. One thing I'd like to do to sort of make them look a bit more realistic is to just add a subtle glow to these. So, any glow, I added that to the wrong one. So the default is way too bright, 0.3 maybe, just very subtle, 0.2. And brightness, 0.2. Okay, that looks good. Actually, a better way of doing this would have been to just uh, add the glow afterwards because we can just use one glow for both. And that would be easier. Okay, so now that that's done, Let's uh, put this into the scene. And we're gonna do this in two bits. Um, we're going to add this in the bit that is uh, not affected by the, um, the glass, that's not being refracted by the glass, and then we're gonna do the bit that is refract refracted by the glass. And the way we're gonna split that up is basically um, just multiply this by uh, the mat. So. Uh, shift X this and it'll be A multiplying A times B and um, inverting it and getting rid of this. So we have our 2D elements and um, the bit that's cut out is the bit that's going to be refracted. So let's put this um, Let's put this into the scene. So A over B and hit one. So that looks good. And then we just need the bits that are refracted by our character. And um, you may know already, or you may have noticed that things are refracted upside down. So what I'm gonna do is copy this, actually copy that and the glow, paste it, and in this particular one, because this is the one that's being refracted, let's just go into the cards and minus one the Y, so that they're upside down. And now we need to uh, shuffle in the um, the normals with which we're going to be using as a map to refract this. So the man contains those. So copy, paste, and let's just shuffle copy in uh, from the two pipe to the one pipe. Actually, shift X that. From the one pipe, we want the, now we've got a, we rented out three different uh, types of normals. Um, the normals that the camera sees, the normals from the object, and the uh, normals from the world. I'm going to start with the uh, normals from the camera, um, and we can experiment with the others later. So just pipe these into the RGB channels and send them out to the same, uh, same uh, render layer, sorry, the same channels. And uh, that, if we hit one now, uh, we'll see these appear in our stream. And uh, this is what it looks like. So if we hit R, we can see the red channel is uh, things from the right-hand side. Green channel is things uh, from coming from uh, top to bottom and the blue channel, I actually don't know what that is, but that's okay. So now that we've got the normals in our stream, we can uh, add in an eye distort node, and this will distort the RGB based on the, the uh, normals. So we go RGBA based off of the normals, and we can scale this up, and you can see they're being refracted. And what we can also do is instead of just bumping this up very high, we have lots of freedom to manipulate these by grading the, um, the 
normals. And I'm actually gonna grade them after we shuffle copy them so that uh, if we decide we wanna change the normals, we don't have to regrade. So basically, you can just gain them up to create some interesting results. You can go crazy. Um, it's a it's a combination of grading and um, changing the scale. So have fun playing around with those. I uh, also like to I blur it a little bit because they're very sharp at the moment, and we want to blur based on the alpha. So let's just make sure that the alpha is good. Um, let's just see if we can get away with using this alpha. Might just copy in the alpha from the mat. Paste him here. Hit K to copy the alpha. And I'll put this just before the eye distort. So there we go. Now the alpha channel is, um, looks like this. And in the eye distort node now it looks like that. Let's not distort the alpha. Let's just distort RGB. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Um, yeah, so that was probably a bit too much blur. I'm gonna grade this quite aggressively. That looks interesting. You can also play with the offset to move uh, UVs over. Let's go back to where A Tuts comes in, see what we're getting. Oh, this is, sorry, CG Tuts is first. So this is what we're getting, and uh, to help us decide what looks better, let's actually merge this into the, into the main stream. So because we have a clean alpha, we can just pre-multiply this to get rid of the excess. And to get rid of, to help get rid of the, some of this jaggedness, um, we can sort of just blur the normals a little bit. We can either blur or soften or just I type in soften and just soften the normals a bit more than that. Don't want to soften them too much. Okay, so let's uh, merge these in. So if we have a look at this, it's our mainstream. Let's go. A over B and uh, Shift X. Let's merge them before that. Let's merge them with the actual uh, refracted person. So M and A over B, and then plug A into here. And then we can take a look. Still getting the same thing. Let's uh, get rid of this alpha channel. Let's disable that. And A over B, let's shift X these. So now we have the, um, I'll just delete these. Now we have the man himself over the refraction. Let's actually just hold down control and that lets you drag uh, anything above that node. Drag that here and whoops, and just drag this tree over this way so that we're a bit more organized. So now we can view this. So we have the refraction, and this helps you sort of see what will look better and what will look worse. So I don't really like what's going on with the arm, so I can just tweak it to change what's going on here. Maybe we can, with the shuffle copy, try the normals from the world instead of from the camera. Okay, I like that better because we get to see a bit more of it on his body. But I still don't like what's going on with the hand. Let's try the grade. We can experiment with offsetting it a bit. Maybe 